Hey everyone, this is Brian from Medigaplist.com. Uh, today's topic is going to be um, attained age versus community rated Medigap policies. Um, I'm always getting this question from people that are aging into Medicare or, or turning 65 or going on Medicare for the first time. Um, the very first thing I tell people is that I see very few, I really don't see any community rated plans. Uh, they might be out there, but I don't see any, which means I do this every day, so I don't even know if there are any community rated plans out there anymore. I'm sure there are. Uh, almost all the plans are attained age. Um, why is this? Because we live in an inflation based society. Um, you know, community um, rated plans would mean that everyone has the same rate uh, for your zip code as opposed to attained age means your plan uh, goes by your age. The price goes by what age you are. So, um, you know, prices go up, they don't stay the same for pretty much everything in this country. So for something to be community-based, that would mean that they would have to come up with a formula for everyone, people who are 65 and people who are 95 or 100. So basically what that means is they would have to set the rates at somewhere between someone, you know, 78 years old, what they would charge someone for that plan. That wouldn't be fair to people that were 65. Uh, it would be very fair for people that are 98 years old or 95 years old because they would get a cheaper rate. But most companies don't want to do that. Um, so most people go into Medicare uh, for the first time and they read the booklet uh, that Medicare sends out to them. And they see that there's community rated plans and attain age uh, rated plans. And that's, you know, uh, the first thing that they ask me. And from what I, from what I see, uh, there are a bunch, from what I think people, when they ask me this, I think what they're thinking is there's a bunch of plans that are community-based and a bunch that are attained, uh, attained age, which isn't true. I mean, from what I've seen, the, the bulk is uh, attained age. Um, it, the question makes me laugh a little bit. If, if you see me looking down, I'm reading, I actually typed up a blog. So I'm reading from the blog so that I keep the video short. Um, it makes me laugh because I see, you know, from the old days when Burger King came out with, you know, their flame broiled burger. Everyone was, you know, people, I remember people saying, oh, you know, Burger King's burger is flame broiled. Uh, as opposed to McDonald's, I guess, is fried um, patty. Um, you know, it's one of those things like big deal. But it was a big deal because it was a marketing tactic. Um, the difference is Medicare doesn't it doesn't use any marketing tactics because they don't have to. You know, Medicare just, you know, says what they want to say and that's law. I mean, they just, you know, it's government. So they can say, you know, here's the plans and here's what they're going to, the, the prices of, you know, Medicare is going to be this and you can't do anything about it. Uh, the difference is, you know, uh, the Medigap plans are, are private. Uh, you know, they basically, they're for-profit companies, so they're going to, do what they have to do to make a profit, um, but they want to try to be beneficial to the people that are on Medicare also. And the best way to do that is to be attained age because that way, you know, especially for a for-profit for profit company, um, if you want to, you know, pretty much, you know, businesses want to get their clients first and then, you know, keep their clients, obviously. Uh, it's kind of like when you're drafting for a basketball team, the NBA or something, they want to get those those early picks so that, you know, they can mold their players um, and keep them on their team because, you know, they get comfortable, they like the team, they like, you know, uh, what's going on around them. It's the same thing with uh, Medigap plans. They want to capture you early and get you into their plan because they feel they can service you and, and keep you as their customer. So there's, I mean, for them to do a community-based rating would be stupid because they wouldn't be able to capture you at first um, because it would be more expensive. Um, so, mo you know, most companies are going, going to go attain uh, age. Another question that I get is about the prescription drug plans and how they are priced. And uh, from what I have seen, of course, I don't want to put any 100% on anything. But from what I've seen, all the drug plans are priced the same for anyone, uh, for any age. Um, they tend to get priced by the drugs that you are taking. So, I mean, if you're taking, you know, high-end brand drugs that cost a lot, you, you know, really uh, your it's not your plan price it's going to be your co-pays and deductibles 
that are going to be pricey. They tend not to, the plans, you know, they finagle the plans so that they're they're priced with the deductible. So if you have a high deductible, your your plan premium is going to be lower. If you have a low deductible, your plan, pre, plan premium tends to be higher. And that's just the way it goes. So there's really no way around the drug plan um, getting something cheap or, or really finagling something to your advantage. There is better plans um, that are taken, you know, at more um, pharmacies and so forth. But, you know, as far as prices are concerned, any age has the uh, same price uh, for the drug plans. Uh, I hope that helped with attained age and community rated uh, Medigap policies. Um, like I said, it's just one small part of Medicare, and so if you can, um, take a look at our website, medigaplist.com, and you can find prices and plans there uh, for your zip code. Thanks. Have a great day.